This episode, we share what it took to remove all the old wiring from our boat and test some of the systems that we came across in the process. 18 months ago, we purchased a hurricane-damaged sailboat with the dream of sailing her around the world. We started documenting this adventure each week for all of our family and friends to follow along. Since then, we've been learning, laughing, and working harder than we ever have in our lives to make this dream come true. If you'd like to support these videos and help us splash, come join us on Patreon. <coughs> so this whole wire right here is the one that disappears up into the floor and doesn't come out anywhere. It's a big wire. It's many wires. It's like... 10 or 12 or 15 different wires in here. <laughs> it just goes into the floor. We're talking. This has got to be some sort of data for helm station stuff, right? Well, maybe it's original. It could be because it just goes into the floor and doesn't come out anywhere. This wasn't really hooked up to anything on this end. But it just disappears into the floor. And you can't, like, yank it out? <laughs> <laughs> well, that works. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> what is it? This is where I pulled it out, right there. So you see that light right there? That is sunlight through the cockpit floor. I want to go see where it came out because <laughs> I couldn't see anything that suggested there was a hole there. Well, what does the, the end of the wire look like? 5200? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know, you know? That is crazy. That right there. It was like cut off flush to the floor. You know, that. That's where these were sitting. Yep. That is where this was here. So it had originally come in through the bottom of that foot and came up inside this bar. Okie dokie then. So the wiring in this part has been redone at least once. Yeah, probably. Maybe more. Maybe more. Who knows? Y'all ain't pulling your weight no more. You're gonna walk the plank. Arr! here theoretically is an air conditioner power which can go away and find out where it goes because it goes in a tube which means it's going to go all the way through and come up somewhere inside here what is this that was stuff in the speed home. so this is actually unhooked Is it up there? Do we remember what this is? Is this end there? Does this go in the back? This goes to the back. I'll bet you that most of these don't go to anything anymore. I'm trying to cut this without cutting wire shielding. This is one of the problems with electrical tape over the years is it becomes gooey. Here to this mess. Oh, what's it hooked? Which switch is it hooked to? And Nav instruments. 
off right here. Why did you take that off? It was coming off. Well now, we'll, unless you put it back on, we won't have any idea lap breaker does. <laughs> it can do anything we hook uh, up to it. Well, yeah, I just, just curious. What? What was what to start with? Otherwise, I could just cut everything and walk away, well, trying to get a rough idea of what it looks like. So when it goes back together, I, I know. Oh yeah, I gotta have this thing hooked to that. Here, I will tape it back together. Now they're all the way up into here. Yep. So now I should be able to pull that them is so from gross. there in here. All right. And I need you to kind of help feed them into there. I'm going to try to to pull them up from here. Yeah, I'm going to try to see. No, I want. I'm going to pull them my way. Oh. Okay. You feed them. Yeah. I think you've got it under control. I lose a finger if I try and help. The emergency bilge pump right here this is the inlet side and this is the outlet side and we couldn't get it to work earlier when we first got the boat sucking the bilge and I think it's because the hose on the inlet side down low had a crack in it which was letting air in so it wasn't sucking so we're gonna test it with by putting my gloved hand on the inlet and she's gonna go pump it upstairs and see if it's actually working or if the diaphragm needs to be replaced. I think it's got good suction. It's sucking my glove in pretty good right here. All right. So I think the diaphragm on it is fine right now, but we'll want to get a replacement kit for that anyway. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm cutting the running lights. Now, we still have a huge pile of wires, and we have these. This stuff is just craziness. You just see there's, like, they've, it's just crazy. So they've got this stuff locked down so it won't move every six inches, which is like, what is that? B, Y, A, B, C, D, Y, F, G. <laughs> A B Y C standards, but it's going to burn up with the splices. Don't do this stuff to your boat. Do not cut your wires and splice whatever the heck you want into it. And if you do need to cut it and you do need to splice it, at least do it right. This is ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Let's go forward and climb into a galley cabinet and see if we can get them out from there. More splice, more splices. So what are these hooked to? Got that. Uh, look at that. Camel snot glue that they've stuck in there to stick the wires to. <laughs> Take it home to the girls, they can play with it. Girls. Silly putty. Aha! I have a string too. <laughs> To that point.
laying around on the job again, eh? <laughs> this wire had run from the salon where the radio receiver had been removed by the previous owner to the very back of the boat. So that was hooked to this one. Do we know what it was? It's a Sirius antenna. So this was the Sirius antenna? Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's kiss, honey. That looks original. What do you think? Is it 40 years old? Kind of looks like it to me. Could be, could be. This is the sub pump that drains the forward shower pan. So now I need some water. And a place to squirt it. Okay. Electricity, water, like all that stuff looks a little intimidating. Yeah, and I don't know which one's positive and which one's negative, but I can't hold the pump and hook the wires up, so oh. I need to hold the pump. Okay, I'm a little nervous about this. I don't want to get hurt. Just put one hand on it. Okay, it won't electrocute me. Don't pull it. here, hold here. No, it's not going to electrocute you. First of all, it's DC 12 volts, so. Here's to work. Here's to work. Yay, something works on this boat. I don't know how long it'll work, but <laughs> today it works. Set over here. So why were you pulling out that pump? Huh? Why were you pulling out that pump? To see if it worked. Well, but people have been complaining the, we go from one project to the next. It's in I'm the working line. on the wiring. It's in the way of the wiring. Is that the answer you wanted? <laughs> It's in the way of the wiring. We're, we're doing all the wiring. So the wiring went to the pump. So I pulled the pump out. <sighs> I'm sitting here. I've done everything that I was supposed to do. I took out the outlets, disconnected the lighting fixtures, all the random things attached to the wall. Todd's been doing the hard part of pulling all the wires out from behind the headliner up here. Yeah, it's kind of a one person job. Removing these wires means moving everything that's in our way. I tell you, babe, I got new respect for doing surgery with mirrors. <laughs> it's not easy. Okay, so I got the last wiring on the port side done. Everything from the engine room forward. I've been slowly pulling the wiring out of this boat and a lot of it is tucked up behind like this is the headliner and it's up behind the headliner. There's also the problem with wiring inside of the little cubbies like in the bathroom. So let me show you what to deal with back here in the bathroom. In here this had sliding doors in it. I took the shelf here that was going across there and I pulled it down because there was no way I could get in there. But this right here, on top of that, I'm going to have to turn the camera sideways so you can see, is where you can see these little screw things and the screws are coming down screws are coming down from above and I have about this much room to work with so a regular stubby screwdriver you can see the stubby screwdriver is actually too tall <laughs> so I got to figure out how to get those screws out to be able to remove that wire <laughs> this handy dandy little tool I got from DeWalt and it's a little angle drill. So basically, you take it and you put it in the end of your drill like this, and it turns my drill into an angle drill. So let's see if I can get that to work in here. Of course, they're angled the wrong direction to make it easy. But you kind of get the point. All right, so now I can 
get this whole thing down. So I'm all the way now back here in the back. I have a light right there and a light right there. I think those two lights are the last two things to undo for wiring. I'm not sure how to get to it. I think I got to get to it from the outside locker in the back. But I'm not going to do that today because it's raining outside and I don't want to get wet. Uh, but here's the dumpster. Okay. Why are you so close to the dumpster? So I don't have to walk very far to put this stuff in. Because it's heavy, remember? That's an air conditioner. Air conditioner. Air Watch condition out for the boat guy. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'd love to hear from you. You can leave a comment by using the link in the description below.